morning good afternoon good evening wherever you guys are welcome to my space my name is queenie and this project is all about together we can it's basically a virtual space for the children the child with their parents as well as perhaps their guardian um it really is to share um positive moments together um, especially for families who may need a little jump start to structure uh, to their day-to-day -day lifestyles I'd like to add a caveat this is a session created for you guys and so at any point of time if you ever feel the need to rewind or pause the video feel free to do so if you need to um, pause the video get up grab a water whatever gra grab some tools that you may need for the activity uh, feel free I will also myself um, guide that along if I um, am asking for a tool a suggest or suggesting a tool for you guys that you may need for the exercise I'm gonna tell you guys to take a pause and that so you can grab those tools and gather those together so that we can create that activity together how I foresee this I might change it from one episode to another but for this episode I think what I foresee is the first 15 20 uh, half an hour maybe will be focus on building the the activity okay um, as well as maybe the afterwards the last 15 to 20 minutes will be the share topic where uh, we will share the topic together as as one um, platform okay so I'm actually really excited to share with you our first activity um, I figure as the first time we're sharing activity together might as well make it meaningful right and so this comes with great memories to me um, when I was really really young back in elementary school we actually learned how to fold origami um, and the first thing that we learned how to fold wasn't the airplane as everyone would have would have assumed but we learned how to fold the crane and so this derived from the Japanese culture um, it was a very very popular thing back in the day where if you were to fold 1,000 crane, it sort of gave, it was an act to grant a wish for um, someone who was sick or someone who was injured. And if you gift a thousand crane to them, you're basically wishing them longevity, long life, um, wishing them well to get better very soon. What the crane represented in Japanese culture it was believed back in the day that the, a crane can live up to 1,000 years. And so it represented hope, longevity, and happiness. And so this is why it's meaningful to me is, is because of not the act of folding the bird itself, which was beautiful, but at the same time, the meaning behind the crane, um, that was more so that stuck with me um, the longest actually. And this, this legendary comes with a story um, and it started off by this little girl named Sadako Sasaki. Um, and there's a novel about her and there's a film about her actually, this little girl, uh, her name is, the novel actually is called Sadako and a Thousand Paper Cranes. Um, I'm gonna leave you the more information about this story in the link below, um, but feel free to check it out but right now I want to show you first of all how to fold origami and you can well guess the topic um, after we fold the origami we can talk about uh, our hopes for one another number one and second our hopes for ourselves because I think it's so important that we need to have some hope have some uh, dream or desire that we want to focus on have a point of focus for our hope for ourselves as well as for each other and so that will be the topic um, but first let's get on with our origami um, origami as you can get ori is basically to fold gami means paper folded paper thing is it needs to be squared okay so it can be two inch by two inch three inch by three inch four inch by four inch what 
whatever you want however size that you want your crane to be um, yours it will you can make it to whatever size you want so this crane just over here is basically using these origami papers that I had lying around since back in the day actually um, these are 5 cm by 5 cm um, if you don't have this sort of paper I'm gonna demonstrate using the magazine because that's exactly what I have lying around and what we're gonna do is feel free to pause this video at this time and just grab the materials that you need so you're gonna need paper and if it's not already squared you're gonna need a ruler pencil or a pen whatever works um, and that's it okay and so now once that you have once you have joined uh, back into the session um, we're gonna Go ahead and and grab a piece of paper and so for the first time um, it always helps to make our first origami um, using a bigger piece of paper just so we can get used to it before we make it smaller and smaller okay so for this one we're gonna do four inch by four inch and I've already marked on my paper a four inch by four inch um, so we're gonna mark the end of edge of the paper to the middle of the paper four inch so basically what i did was measure four inch from the edge of the paper and marked it edge of the paper marked it four inch okay once we do that we're gonna follow the marks and give it a nice tear like with your ruler okay just like so so now you have a rectangle, so we're going to need a square out of this, right? So remember we did a, the one side of this is 4 inch. We're going to mark the other side, a 90 degree, 4 inch. So we're going to mark it, 4 inch. Mark it once again, 4 inch. Okay, and then you have the choice of following the mark and tearing it from corner to corner at the four inch mark or a little nifty trick is if you don't want to do that you still have a re uh, rectangle all you're gonna do is you take the long side and you fold it up so what you're gonna do you bring that corner up into a triangle you're gonna fold a perfect triangle Access, um, access rectangle with a pair of scissors or if you want you can fold it if you don't want to use a pair of scissors you can fold that edge and just give it a nice gentle tear uh, square 4 inch by 4 inch you can go ahead and fold uh, the triangle. One triangle. You'll see one triangle and then two triangle. You're also going to go ahead and fold a rectangle, meeting the corners with each other. And fold the other side. See this a lot more better okay so you'll see over here you'll see two triangles and two rectangles that's folded what we're gonna do is gonna fold it into one of the triangles like this like so we're gonna bring one uh, this is point a points B we're gonna create a square with this triangle so we're gonna uh, bring point B to point A but we're gonna indent it so instead of, so I'm going to do it like this so you can see it, I'm going to fold it in just like so. And why that was easy was because we already uh, created lines, folded lines, and all we are doing is indenting it, okay? And just like that, see how easy that was? So the bottom, the top. You see all the flaps? This is where all you see all the flaps. There's going to be a vertical line. What you're going to do is take one corner, 
bottom corner I'm going to take this one corner and fold it to the vertical line you can do it to the other side as well okay you're going to do it to the opposite side basically folding in with the edge where it's opened to the middle line okay we're gonna open it up and we're gonna indent it so top where all the flaps are bottom we're gonna bring one edge top edge And we're going to fold in the lines that we created earlier. So it basically will look like a little lines. Line. In. Did a long triangle. Okay. I'm going to do it the other side as well. I'm going to open it. I'm going to fold it in. So here we go. You see? Bottom still closed. So what we're gonna do is take the top and fold it down. Take the top on the other side, fold it down. Easy peasy, right? So you'll see that now this top edge, top, has two openings. This one has just the flap. What we're gonna do is flip it back so that this remains the top this will become the body of the crane okay and this will become the beak and the wing of the crane what we're going to do is downwards words and we're going to take the corner of the side corner and then we're going to fold that corner that edge this edge into the center line of the body The wing. Now we're going to bring up the edge of the light over on the back. Hold it. We're going to bring that wing. We're going to bring the tail actually of the crane up. I'm going to fold it and fold it into the body. And just like so, tuck it. I'll made the tail of the crane. The head of the crane back up to the body. Okay, you can sort of. So it's not a, not like straight, but angle it so that it has some angle. Okay, and we're gonna fold down the beak. So it looks like this. There you go. And now all you need to do is curl open the crane, the wing of the crane. So it's believed the wing of the crane can carry the soles back up. Okay, and there you go. There you have your first wing, of your first crane. Uh, what I did over here was 
into one string. Normally it's for a thousand cranes. You'll need 25 strings. On each string, you'll have 40 cranes. And so because I don't have the time to build 1,000 cranes, I just thought, you know what, let's just make whatever I can. So I'm gonna show you how to do my last crane together. So what I'm gonna do, this is, I still have the needle um, on my string. I'm gonna grab the needle and a glass bead and onto the needle, into the string I mean. The bead onto the string. And what I did was I went in with the needle to the bottom of the bead and strung up to the middle so that the bead stays put where I want it, okay? What I'm gonna do is grab the needle. The bottom of the crane, you'll see the top, middle, and bottom. You're gonna put the needle right into the middle and string it up back. Hook the middle, so it looks like this. Let's see, can you guys see it? So it looks like this, like so. And then you're gonna string it, hook it to the top of the crane, the body, just like so. And hold on, and you bring it up. And that's all you need to do. And that, my dears, is how you string beads. And you can do this, you can hang this on your, on the bedside, next to your lamp, wherever you want. It's actually very versatile wherever you want to place it with. Okay, congratulations guys. You guys have made your first um, crane together. So feel free, go ahead, mix some more together. Uh, the more you fold, the more you're gonna get used to that tactile movements of folding a piece of paper, folding the lines to one another and creating objects from a two-dimensional to a three-dimensional. So that's the part that is, excites me the most. You fold something that is two-dimensional into a three-dimensional object, into whatever object that comes about. And for this session, it's about a crane. Uh, let's go ahead and go move on to the second half of the topic. The reason why we decided to do a crane is hope. It represents longevity. It represents happiness. It represents healing and so um, it, it's a perfect stepping stone to talk about your hope with yourself and it, it's a stepping stone to uh, talk about hope for each other so child if you are listening in to the session what is your hope for yourself and what is your hope for your parents or guardian it could be as simple as I want to learn how to cook or it could be it could be as something like granular as I want to excel in a subject at school, and so that could be your hope. Or it could be even a bigger hope where you want to create a project um, uh, that creates a positive effect to other to your communities to your family. Number one, it has to be personable to you, and. Secondly, what is your hope for your parents and what is your hope for your guardian? And parents, if you're listening in and talk about your hope for yourself and talk about your hope for your child and share that conversation back and forth. Um, and the point is not to change one another's hope. Your hope is personable to yourself as for each other. Um, but it's not meant to, I, my hope is for you to do this. Um, and uh, therefore I expect you to do this, but it's really more as a conversation starter. And so this space is all about that. It's meant to share, to share one activity and one topic together. And the more times, the more sessions that we go through this together, it's, it's gonna create that momentum, that positive momentum of spending the time together. And it's gonna be like, hey, it's not work anymore. It's not, it doesn't feel like work and it doesn't feel like a session anymore to sit with my child or my child with my parents to, um, you know, to spend time together. And so this is really, there's a deeper meaning to all this but on the surface, it really is just one activity, one topic together. And I'm gonna wrap up so that you guys can have that time and space and privacy together. For more information about the how to make a crane and the 
um, background and the legendary story behind the crane itself. I'm going to leave you some tools and links uh, at the bottom of the video. Uh, feel free to uh, check it out. And um, to find more about myself, go to my website. Uh, I'll leave that link below as well. With that, that is that completes our first session together and so thank you so much for your time and of sharing our space together children be amazing parents be amazing because children create the path to the future and so together we can peace out guys mm -hmm.